In this video, I will show you how to create a stamped PDF. What is PDF stamping? PDF stamping is the act of adding an image or text to a PDF file before or after sending it. This can include basic stamps, such as approved or confidential, or dynamic stamps, such that include a name, email address, and the date and time the PDF was stamped. The big caveat, however, is that PDF stamps only work as a deterrent if the user cannot easily remove them. You need to choose your PDF stamping software carefully. If it does nothing to prevent editing, then any user will be able to remove the stamp using standard PDF editing software. While it sounds obvious, PDF stamping is also ineffective if the user doesn't mind being identified. It's unlikely to stop somebody from sharing a PDF with a trusted friend or family member. Locklizard lets you add a dynamic stamp, which can include the recipient's name, email address, and date and time, which is automatically created when the PDF document is viewed or printed. This saves you from having to stamp a PDF for each user. The same document is used for everyone. In Safeguard, Stamps are called watermarks. I will now show you how these can be applied to a PDF and then protected securely. So first open Windows Explorer. Locate the document you wish to protect. Right click on the PDF and choose Make Secure PDF. In the PDF Writer, select the View Watermarks tab. Then in the Text Watermark area, select the Add Text Watermark option. The text in the window now becomes live. It shows an example of a dynamic watermark that uses variables or placeholders as well as fixed text. When the document is viewed or printed, these variables are replaced by the user or system data by the viewing application. We will now amend the text that's on display. I'm going to delete everything out of there and add this document is authorized to space then using the drop down i'm going to select username username space and also email address user email address okay i'm going to leave it at that we're going to choose where we want it to appear on the page so using the drop down i'm going to go for top center and bottom center we also set the font to be red and make sure it's bold. In this case, it's already preset, so okay. We'll click okay at that. We can also add an image watermark in addition to the text watermark or in place of, we'll add one in addition to. So if I click the image watermark tab, then select the add image watermark option. And then I need to browse to where the image is that I want to display. So click the browse. This is the image I'm gonna display and then click on open. Okay, position, we're happy with the position of center. And we will set the opacity we require. We'll set that to around 50, okay. That's how strong you wish the image to look on the page. And then we can preview that to see what it will look like. So there we have the text watermark at the top and bottom of the page, and we have the graphic in the middle. Please note, image watermarks will only show at full opacity in the viewing window, okay? Once we're happy with that, close the window down. Once you're happy with all the settings, all you have to do then is just to click Publish. The document will then be protected with your choice of options. After protection, the protection status window appears and confirms that the protection has succeeded. Click OK. The newly protected file now appears in the listing underneath the original PDF. Please notice it now has a .pdc extension. This is now a protected PDF file, which can only be opened with the Locklizard Secure PDF Viewer. If we double click on the file, the Safeguard Secure Viewer will open and load the file. So here we are, here's the file. And again, we have the text watermark at the top, now it's been changed to the user's details. So we've got this document is authorized to Alan Jones, 
at Alan Jones at abc.com. Same appears on the bottom of the page. Okay. And in the middle is the confidential watermark we've added as an image. And the opacity was set to 50. So it's not, not too strong. You can still read everything quite easily above it. Okay. And that appears on every page. Please note the document is now fully encrypted and there is no way of moving, editing, deleting or changing either of the watermarks or text in any way. OK, it's fully protected. There's no editing controls. You can't move it. You can't copy it. OK, so it's fully protected. Once you finish viewing the document, close the viewer and close Windows Explorer. I will now show you an alternative confidential graphic and also allow printing of the document. So again, we'll open Windows Explorer, select the document we wish to protect, right click on the PDF and choose Make Secure PDF. In the PDF Writer, select the Printing and Viewing tab. In the Printing area, select Allow Printing. Then select the View Watermarks tab. This is what we set up the last time. We will leave everything here set up the same as it is. OK, so when viewing the document, those settings will remain in place. So this time we're going to select the print watermarks tab. Here we can change the print watermark settings just the same as we did for the view watermarks. So again, click the add text watermark box. Highlight the text that's already in there and press delete. This time we're going to type different message in here now. This document was printed by space. Then we're going to select username as a variable again. Username on. And we're going to select the date and time variable. There we are, date and time. So this document is printed by whoever the user was on whatever the date and time was. OK, we will change the font again if need be. There we go. We'll change that same as the other one was to red. And make sure it's in bold. OK. Position using the drop down. We'll position it at the top center and bottom center of the page. OK. And opacity this time for the text watermark. We will leave at full opacity. So now we'll add the image again. Click the image watermark tab, select the box, add image watermark. Again, we'll browse to the location where the image is. And here's the image we're going to use. Select that. Where are we going to have it? Center. Opacity. This time we're going to set the opacity to about 140. There we go, 141 will do. OK. Click preview. This time the text watermark appears at the top and bottom again, same as it did last time on viewing, only this is for printing. And it says the document was printed by username at a set date and time. And here we have a different confidential graphic that covers the whole page area. Again, in the viewer, we can only see it at full opacity, but it will be reduced in the actual document. So once we finish with that, close the viewer. All we have to do then is to click Publish. When the protection status window appears, it says succeeded, so click OK. So here's the latest PDC document. So we double click on it again. Safeguard Secure Viewer will open and load the document as before. Here we are. Here's the document. To view it, it's exactly the same. The settings were not changed. So we got this document is authorized to and the user's name and email. And we've got the confidential graphic in the middle and that appears on all pages. However, this time the print icon is now active because we've said we can print this document. So if I click on the print icon, the print options will appear. And here we can see a thumbnail of the document as it will be printed. OK, it's a bit difficult to see in the thumbnail, but again, you can make out the text watermark at the top and bottom of the page and the graphic in this case covers the whole page area. You can do that, scroll through the pages and see it on all three pages. So that's how it will appear when printed. OK, I'm not going to print it in this case. I'm just going to say cancel. As before, 
There is no way to edit, delete, or change the document in any way. So when you finish with the viewer, just close the viewer and close Windows Explorer.